Hi planner friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Nina of Love Plan Love. For today's video, I kind of wanted to show you my A5 locket cover from Aura Estelle. I know I showed it to you guys when I first got it, but I kind of want to show you guys how it looks lived in. I've used this for a couple months now. Um, it is not a pretty setup whatsoever, so I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. If you guys didn't know, I use this as my school planner, and what I've been using for um, my school planner for the past, um, I want to say like six months, or maybe even a little longer, is a Stalogy, and I wanted to put it in like a cover. I didn't want like, I don't know, I kind of wanted to have a nice notebook. So I'm just going to go ahead and just open this up with you guys. Um, if you guys are not familiar with the locket cover, this like clasp mechanism can, you can pull it to the side. So this guy over here um, won't get in the way and you have a flat surface which I really really like um, because it still gives you like the classiness of having like a clasp like this and then just being able to use your notebook. So originally I wasn't going to use any inserts in here but then after um, a while I decided that I definitely needed like at least a calendar. I need a calendar everywhere just so I can keep track of like what date it is and kind of see like my progress through like the week to see, okay, do I have enough time to get everything that I need to get done? All right, so the first part here, this is literally not cute whatsoever. I didn't fill this up. I didn't feel the need to, and I wasn't just going to stuff it with just anything um, and then I was going to add a picture here but I just never got to that and on the back side you would usually be able to put like the cover of your notebook through this and then this insert would actually go in the cover here I had it like that for a little bit but then I noticed that it was kind of like bending my notebook both ways. I don't mind it if it's just one way, but then it was happening on both sides. So I decided to just leave it open and I kind of like it like this better. So I just have like important letters in here, any receipts. Um, I mean, nothing really. It's literally just storage. I don't have a purpose. Um, but yeah, so it's just there because this is what I like usually bring with me every day because this also, this is like this calendar here is what I use to reference like um, the hours at work and stuff like that. So this yearly insert or a monthly insert is from Marcia Bramucci on Etsy. I just literally, um, I have it marked off with a binder clip that I just also use as a pen loop because at one point I was holding two pens here and then on the pen loop that comes with the planner. Um, but I just use this to mark um, the scheduled shifts of mine and then mark off any days that were closed um, at work just to see ahead and see like what days we are open, what days we're not. Um, I think that was just super, super helpful, especially because um, after a while I kept thinking like, I always have to ask myself, okay, are we going to be closed this weekend? Because it gives me a better idea of like, what my schedule is going to be for at work. I don't budget in here whatsoever, but I just like seeing my hours um, because it also gives me a chance to see um, with like my school stuff, what days I'll have like the most time to be productive in terms of getting schoolwork done. Um, but I also like having my work schedule in here too because this is usually the planner that I have with me um, every day for the most part just because I don't need my to-do list on me when I'm out because I literally just go to work and then go home. So this is just a good little reference. Um, also, I don't know where this binder clip came from. And this is a Muji gel pen, which has been my current favorite. Um, this is an A5 Stalogy. I also have a B6 for size reference. So it is... Um, bigger you can see that there is definitely a difference and then I also have an A6 but I have it in this cover that I can't really like take out right now but even with the cover on you can still see the big difference between the three sizes so that's that this was my previous school planner um, and then I decided that I wanted to get a bigger one um, but yeah so 
this guy here, I just have like, this is my schedule that is, usually I, I'm so like, I don't want to say not careful, but I don't care as much about like the presentation of this guy because it's where I just need to write stuff. So I use Astrology for like my school planner because I also use it as like a notebook because I don't need a full dedicated planner for my school stuff. I do write it in like my everyday planner where I'll write out like, okay, I need to get some schoolwork done, stuff like that, but this is where I get super, super specific and I also use it as like a master kind of guide. So I'm going to try to flip through this. Um, this is when I was starting my March session, so it was just like for March and April. Um, these were the classes that I were that I was taking, um, and I just have them color coded. I don't think I ended up following this specific color code, but I just like to see that there's a difference between like this class to the next. I don't know, and I just like seeing color. Um, and then this was like my master schedule that I wanted to follow or that I want to follow. I think I still kind of like want the same schedule for this week and even if I fall behind the schedule like it's okay but at least like I know for the most part what points I want to hit every day. And then I did something a little different for my last session. I split the notebook into three even sections and then I um, would have let's see I would have like all my like information for the class for that session and then I would just go ahead and section off and then so this would be one full section and then I'd have the other class wherever it started um, here um, so then it would be separate sections but for some reason, I just decided that for this session, I just wanted everything in the beginning. So I just have everything to reference. But then it got a little confusing because I just used some post-its to like section off um, the classes. And it was great at one point, but then it just got really confusing when I needed to reference these pages um, again and... Um, since they're right back to back. I mean, whatever, it's not really that big of a deal because I could just flip the page and it's like one class to the next. And I usually have them in like alphabetical and numerical order. So that's that. And then I literally just go through each week. Like this is just everything that's on my syllabus. And then I break down everything here onto um, my week. So I'll have like my first week and then I'll have any notes that I take during that week and then I'll just keep going. Um, so I try not to go too crazy when it comes to my notes and only like write down everything that I need to know so that way I'm not wasting time, but that's like pretty much it. I was trying to do like this whole like every day is a different color. Um, so let's see. So every week was a different color and then every day was a different color. Um, I didn't really find it that much helpful that I color coded it by the day but I guess it was great to see like okay this was one day and this was the start of another just based off the colors itself but I never like really memorized okay like Mondays are this color Tuesdays are this color and stuff like that but yeah um and then I would just you know copy down or like print out any graphs that I thought I would need not graphs but like any charts um but yeah so my thought process for the March session was that I was going to um, just do like kind of like a running kind of style um, and I still was left with some paper because I realized like at, at a certain point I didn't really need all the, all those pages. So that's just that. So for this section, um, for this session I didn't do like a May cover page at all. Um, oh wait, no, this session. So this is like, I guess I can do it on this page, but I, did, I didn't really think it was that necessary because it's literally mostly a notebook. Um, but some things did change from my May session from my March section or my March session. So it's literally the same thing. I have like my 
like master things to do like from my syllabus and then I just go on into the week but one thing that I did add on to keep myself accountable was actually keep like a separate list down here of things that I need to get done they're all essentially going to be the same for each week um, but because I just had my assignments here it was great to see like okay did I do it like am I um, doing all my discussion posts like how I would track that I did my discussion post, like obviously I didn't um, do it here, but from my old um, classes, let me show you. So I would have like all my discussion prompts here on like the weekly cover page, I guess. And then I would X out or like I'd mark it if I did one or if I answered that question. So then I knew that, okay, I did X amount of discussion posts, I need to do at least three. Um, which was great, but I don't know, this, I don't know why I just decided to just do it like this, just so I have like my master to-do list. I have like an explanation of what my assignments are and then my master to-do list. So I think that's great. And then that's pretty much it. No color. I didn't use any, um, highlighters, but I think what I might do though was instead of like highlighting like my days so you can see whichever because I don't want I want to use as much pages as I can for um, each class so I may just use a highlighter to mark off the week so when I'm flipping through the pages I know that I'm going in between the weeks one thing that I didn't do in this planner that I did in my my B6 was use all these fun little tabs to kind of like separate all the weeks. But then I realized that it was kind of really annoying because then I had to figure out, okay, like I had to count which one is which so I can flip through the page. But then by the time I did that, I could just literally just flip through the pages and then find where I need to go. But I think I may add just one page flag just to mark off like, okay, so I'm at this page so I know like where to continue. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's really nothing crazy. Um, this is how I use my locket cover and my A6, or my A6, my A5 Stalogy. I believe I mentioned this when I first got my Aura Stell. I don't know if I actually did, but there is a difference in the size of the boxes from the A5 and the B6 and the A6. So the A6 and the B6 are super similar. They are exactly the same. The size of the boxes are exactly the same. So they're, I want to say, like, compared to this, this would be, like, chunky boxes and these would be, like, kind of mini ones. And at first, I hated the fact that these boxes were smaller because it didn't make sense to me whatsoever. But I grew to appreciate it because now I can fit more information on one page that way I'm not wasting any paper I really don't take any cute notes I literally just take notes from the lesson if I need to and if I'm reading I like depending on what class I'm taking I may not even take any notes um but yeah so behind that on this elastic, I do have another set of inserts, again from Marcia Bramucci. These are just the blank notes, well the, um, these are the box or the grid. And then I was using it as an inbox only when I felt like I really, really needed them. Um, I didn't do it for every week. And I would also just use it to mark any notes for school. I just love having all these notes. And then in the back, there's literally nothing. It's just the back of the notebook. And yeah, that's it. It's not pretty whatsoever. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was more of like just a way to show you how I'm using this locket cover. Um, but yeah, I feel like this would be a great way to just house like your journal like if you're using astrology for a journal or even for an everyday planner like this is just super super classy and very chic and elegant and i really really like it so i really hope you guys like this video if you have any questions or any comments stuff like that just leave it down below you could also find me on instagram at liveplan.love and i will talk to you guys in the next video bye